Welcome to Ezekiel Academy YouTube channel. In this lecture, I want to examine IS2 inventories. If you are coming across my lecture for the first time, please make sure you like the video and also share it with others. If you are a returning subscriber, I say thank you for being part of this channel. IS2 inventories. Inventories are assets. Inventories or inventories are assets. Assets head for sales. Head for sales. That is to retailers. It is stocks in trade. It is a stocks in trade to retailers. Stocks in trade. Why to manufacturer? It is finished. Goods to manufacturer, it is finished goods. Assets head for sales or assets in process of production for sales. Assets in process of production. Assets in, pro in process of production for to manufacturing entity, it is called work in progress. Work in progress. Assets in process of production for sales. Number three, inventory assets in the form of materials. Assets in the form of materials. Or supplies to be used in production process. Assets in the form of materials, in the form of materials or supplies. Or supplies. Assets in the form of materials or supplies to be used in production process. To be used. In the production production process, that is inventories. Inventories are assets held for sales. And I've told you to a retailer, it is stocks in trade. To manufacturing entity, it is finished goods. That is asset held for sales. Or uh, assets in process of production for sales. I said to manufacturing entity, it is called work in progress. Or uh, assets in the form of raw, in form of materials, in form of materials or supplies to be used in the production process. This is called raw materials to manufacturing entities. That is inventories. So now let's look at measurement of inventory. Measurement, measurement of inventories. How are inventories measured in accordance with IS2? In accordance, in accordance to IS2. Inventories are measured. Inventories are measured at the lower, the lower of cost. Inventories are measured at the lower of cost or net. Realizable value. The lower of these two items, lower of cost or net realizable value. The lower of the two is the value of the inventory to be recognized in the financial statements. So, what do we mean by the cost of inventories? Cost of 
inventories. Cost of inventories in accordance with IAS2. In accordance with IAS2, the cost of inventory shall comprise one, the purchase cost. Cost of purchase. Cost of purchase. Number two, cost of conversion. Cost of conversion. Number three, we have other costs incurred in bringing the inventories to their present location. Other costs incurred in bringing the inventories inventories to their present location. These are the cost of inventories. There are three components of cost of inventories. Number one, the cost of purchase. Number two, cost of conversion. Number three, other cost in period in bringing the inventories to their present location. We want to examine the component of this cost one after the other. Number one, we have cost of purchase. The purchase cost consists of one, we have the purchase price. It consists of the purchase price. Less any trade discount. So you, you have to less less trade discount. That is, you subtract the trade discount from the purchase price of the inventory. Then two, we have import duties. Import duties. We add import duties. Then no recoverable taxes. No recoverable taxes. You exclude sales tax. If you are given sales tax, you don't consider that. Transport and handling cost. Transport and handling cost. Then when you sum up all this, you have the cost of purchase. These are what make up the purchase cost of an inventory. Example one. Kaduna Consumer Electric, KC, buys goods from an overseas supplier. It has recently taken delivery of 1,000 units of Component X. The quota price of Component X was 1,200 naira per unit. But KC has, a negotiated, KC has negotiated a trade discount of 5% due to the size of the order. The supplier offers an early settlement discount of 2% for payment within 30 days. And KC tends to achieve this. Import duties of 60 naira per unit must be paid before the goods are released through custom. Once the goods are released through customs, KC must pay a delivery cost of 5,000 naira to have component taken to warehouse required. What is the value of the inventories? Now, let's have the solution to the question. Solution. The name of the entity is Kaduna Consumer Electrics.
calculation of the cost of inventories. Now, let's go through the question. The quoted price of component X was 1,200 Naira per unit. Remember the number of units. It has recently taken delivery of 1,000 units of component X. Now, the quoted price is 1,200. So, the purchase price will be 1,000 times 1,200. So, the purchase price, purchase price, 1,000 units times 1,200 Naira. That will be 1.2 million Naira. 1.2 million Naira. But KC has negotiated a trade discount of 5% due to the size of the order. So we less trade discount. Less trade discount of 5%. 5% 5 of 1.2 million. 5% of 1.2 million, that gives us 60,000. We subtract the 60,000. If you subtract 60,000 from 1.2 million, then that means you'll be left with 1 million, 140,000. Then, back to the question. The suppliers offers an early settlement discount of 2%. For payment within 30 days, this is the cash discount. So this cash discount is not relevant. So we are going to ignore this information. And KC tends to achieve this, so that is not relevant. Import duties of 16 naira per unit must be paid before the goods are released through custom. So we have import duty. Import duty we're told it is 60 naira per unit the number of units purchased is 1000 units 60 naira times 1000 units that will be 60,000 naira back to the question once the goods are released through custom KC must pay a delivery cost of 5,000 naira to have a comp or to have components taken to warehouse. So we have delivery cost of 5,000 naira. Delivery cost. And that amounted to 5,000 naira. So now, how much, will, how much will be the cost of the event? Now, let's add. This is 1.2 million, 1 million, 205,000 Naira. This is the cost of the inventory. Cost of the inventory. The next component of cost is conversion cost. Conversion cost. Conversion costs are cost in chaos in converting the item or items to finished products. Conversion costs include number one, we have costs directly related to the unit produced. Costs that relate directly. To the unit, units produced. Example of this is direct labor. Cost that relates directly to the units produced. Number two, we have feed and variable production overheads allocated to the cost of inventories. Feed and Variable production 
overheads are located to the cost of inventories, including the one that portion. Number so the production overheads include production overheads. I want to give examples of this. Production overheads include number one, we have cost of indirect labor. Cost of indirect labor, including salary, salary of managers and supervisors. Two, depreciation of non-current assets used in production. Depreciation of non-current assets used in production. Three, cost of carriage was if they are not included in the cost of purchase, cost of carriage in was if they are not included in the cost of purchase. All this will form part of the cost of conversion. The third categories of cost that must form part of the cost of inventories are other costs incurred in bringing the inventories to their present location. Other costs cost incurred in bringing the inventories to their present location. These are the cost of inventories in accordance with IES 2. Exclusion from cost of inventories. The following costs are excluded from the cost of inventories. That is, when you are valuing the inventories, you will not include these costs as part of the cost of the inventory. Number one, selling cost. Selling cost, this one relates to item sold. So it will not form part of the cost of inventory. Then administrative overheads. Administrative. Administrative overheads. Administrative overheads, we do not contribute to the cost in Kyo and bringing the inventory to location, which were not in Kyo in bringing the inventories to their present location. This should not form part of the cost of inventories. Number three, we have the storage cost. Storage cost. And four, we have abnormal wastages. Abnormal wastages. All these costs should be excluded from the cost of inventories. Kaduna consumer 
Electric, KCE, manufactures control units for air conditioning systems. The following information is relevant. Each control unit requires the following. One component X at a cost of 1,205 naira each. One component Y at a cost of 800 naira each. Sundry raw materials at a cost of 150 naira. The company faces the following monthly expenses. Factory rent, 16,500. Energy cost, 7,500. Selling and administrative cost, 10,000 naira. Each unit takes two hours to assemble. Production workers are paid 300 naira per hour. Production overheads are absorbed into units of production using an hourly rate. The normal level of production per month is 1,000 hours. How much is the cost of single control units to be included in the cost of inventories? Now, let's have solution to example two. Solution. Kaduna Consumer Electric. So you have to cost, you have to ascertain the cost of single control unit to be included in the cost of inventories. So, you were told the following information is relevant. Each control unit requires the following. One component X at a cost of 1,205. Component The cost is 1,205. One component Y at a cost of 800 naira each. Component Y. The cost is 800 naira each. We have sundry raw materials at a cost of 150 naira. Sundry raw materials and the cost is 150 naira so the cost of the materials let's sum it up 1205 plus 800 plus 150 we have 2155 2155 naira back to the question the company faces the following monthly expenses. We have factory rent. This relates to factory. It's relevant. Energy cost is relevant. Selling and administrative cost. This is, this is related to sales being made. It is not relevant. Each unit takes two hours to assemble. Production workers are paid 300 per hour. Now, assembly now. The cost incurred in assembly it. Two hours at 300 naira. That gives us 600 naira. We were two. Each unit takes two hours. That's how I got the two. And the cost is 300 naira. Production overheads are absorbed into units of production using an hourly rate. The normal level of production per month is 1,000 hours. Production overheads absorbed. Now, you need the overhead absorption rate. 
and the formula is budgeted over S over budgeted hours. Budgeted level of activity. So the overhead based on budget, we have factory 16.5, energy 7.5. So we have 16,500 plus 7,500 over budgeted hours. The normal level of production per month is 1,000 hours. You have divided by 1,000. 16,500 plus 7,500, we have 24,000. 24,000 divided by 1,000. That means you have 24 naira per hour. So, how much is the production of S that will be absorbed? Remember, two hours were used in both, uh, uh, two hours were used. So, we have two hours times 24 naira. That gives us 48 naira. Now, how much is the cost of a single unit? That will be charged for oh, event 2155 plus 600 plus 48. So we have 2,800. Remember, I've told you that in accordance with IES 2, that inventories are measured at the lower of cost or net realizable value. The cost of inventories have been examined. I therefore want to examine the net realizable value of inventory. The net realizable value. Net realizable value is the estimated selling price in the ordinary course of business. Like the estimated costs of completion and estimated costs necessary to make the sale. The natural sale value, I say, is the estimated selling price in the ordinary course of business, less the estimated cost of completion and the estimated cost necessary to make the sales. Net realizable value. We say it is the estimated selling price, estimated selling price, selling price, less the estimated cost of completion, less the estimated cost of completion. Also, Subtract, subtract the estimated cost of sale, of making the sales. So you get the net realizable value. Why net realizable value may be lower than the cost? Why net realizable value may be lower than the cost. So reasons why net realizable value may be lower than the cost. Number one, if or where the inventories are damaged, inventories are damaged. Two, inventory become obsolete, obsolete. Inventory become obsolete. Then three, the selling price has declined. The selling price has declined. 
These are the reasons why the net allowable value of the inventory may be lower than the cost. Example three: a business has four items of inventory. A count of the inventory has established that the amounts of inventory currently held at cost are as follows. We have the inventory item A. The cost is 8,000. Sales price is 7,800. Selling cost, 500. Inventory item A2. Cost is 14,000. Sales price is 18,000. Selling cost, 200. Inventory item B1. Cost is 16,000. Sales price 17,000. Selling cost 200. Inventory item C1. Cost price 6,000. Sales price 7,500. Selling cost 150. Required. Determine the value of closing inventory in the financial statement. The example 1, 2, and 3 were obtained from my can study test, corporate reporting. Now, let's have the solution. To example three, we have the items. We have the, the cost of the items. We have the net realizable value, and then we have the lower of cost or net realizable value. Remember, when you are valuing your inventory, we say in accordance with IS2, we say inventory are valued or measured at the lower of cost or net realizable value. We have four items. Item A1. The cost is 8,000. Cost, 8,000. Net realizable value. We be the sales price of 7,800, less selling cost of 500. So we have 7,800 minus selling cost of 500. So we have the net dollar sale value to be 7,300. The lower is 73. 73 is lower than 8,000. So we go for 7,300. Item A2. The cost is 14,000. A2 cost 14,000. How much is the net realizable value? The sales price is 18,000. Selling cost is 200. So the net realizable value we have 18,000 minus 200. That will be 17,800. Which one is the lower? 14,000. It's lower than 17,800. So we go for the lower, which is 14,000. Then we have item B1. The cost is 16,000. 16,000. How much is it? Net realizable value. Net realizable value will be sales price of 17,000 minus 200. 17,000. Minus selling cost of 200. So we have 16,800. The lower of the two is 16,000. So we go for 16,000. Then we have item C1. The cost is 6,000. C1. 6,000. Then the nine dollar stable value. We have. 7,500 minus 150. 75 minus 150. So we have 7,350. The lower is 6,000. So we go for 6,000. So how much is the total? 7,300 plus 14,000 plus 16,000 plus 6,000. So we have 43,000 
300. This is the cost of the inventory. Cost of inventory. Inventory that will appear uh, in the statement of financial position. Valuation of inventory. So that is the solution to example three. Valuation of inventory. In accordance with IES2, inventories can be valued in two ways. Valuation of inventories. IES2 recommends two methods of valuing inventory. Number one method is first E, first out method, which is fivefold. The second method is weighted average. Weighted average cost method. The valuation of inventory will be examined in my next video. Please make sure you drop the love emoji. Also share the video with others. Thanks for watching Ezekiel.